Part 2 for Saturday, uh, 8.13 in the morning, West Coast time. It's the 2nd of March, 2024. And we were John C. Roseman, California. Part 2. Okay. I was reacting to the information that Bo of the 5th column had been talking about the fires. A little short video, a little short ditty. He just puts in a uh, newspaper link, and that's about it. I don't suppose he's been in major fires. I know a long time ago in, in Florida, Panhandle, or actually in the, in the state of Florida, they actually had fires out there a long time ago. So if anybody lived in Florida, I would understand how bad a fire is. Yeah, you, you'd know about it. And Texas is definitely getting it. It's one thing having small fires left and right will scare the living crap out of you. But a larger fire coming down your ass? We've had states that have been torched. Either by, nat by natural or by unnatural. Is through stupidity or planned? Doesn't matter. Whatever state you're in, you're probably full bar for it. You're ready for it. Drier conditions we get. Water seasons are soaking us up, but we also have more uh, things are devastating our landscapes a great deal. Not to mention the lands, uh, landscapes we need for uh, farming, agricultural. There's going to be a lot of rebuilding and, and a lot of replacements that the um, ranchers out in Texas are going to be needing help from. And I think Governor Abbott in Texas foolhardy as he is regarding his political crap. He's going to be screaming at the federal government unless he thinks he can help out the Texans very much regarding their situation of the stackhouse fire, smokehouse fire, and other fires that have been burning out the, the ranchers left and right. Fires are nothing to be sneezed at. Fires are nothing to be joked at. Fires are nothing to be Looking and saying, oh, look, it's pretty, and then fire hits you, and you're gone. One way or another. We've had situations like that happening out here, even just local fires in California. We've had town communities disappear off the face of the earth. We've had wildfires happening in our forested regions of the Northern California area, where small towns just disappeared and people couldn't get out and they died scared the hell out of me we had fires out in australia past uh two or three decades they'll have the fires out in the plain areas and torching up and er burning up everything else devastating the, li the wildlife uh any native um, aborigines Australians get cut off left and right. There's transportation hubs. I remembered watching these things on YouTube about in Australia that they have train routes. In a land that is mostly wild and woolly, there are limited areas of Australia that it's habitable. It's habitability for uh, for humans. The rest of it is just wild, but devastating to the communities anyway. And that's scary. Looking at the country of uh, Australia here. A lot of communities they have on the East Coast, not much on the southern, southwest tip. And they would have to have trains to go through that area. Just, just to get them through. And I heard about the uh, fires up in Canada. Basically, they had it in the Ontario and Ottawa area. I think uh, stretching to the Quebec. I'm hoping that they got the wildfires out in that area because it was terrifying seeing this stuff. It literally was. I have P 
people I know who live out in that area. And it's terrifying. They got smoked out and those, those major cities were fighting the air pollution like crazy, including New York. So it's never fun going through this stuff, I'll tell you that much. The planes of the United States also concern me because we happen to get into a fire situation. It's bad enough they go through tornadoes. They could chart out the cloud patterns and the uh, the pressure zones coming through at the highs and lows. You see whether or not the storm systems are going to be colliding with each other, and then here you go with instabil instabil <laughs> unstable air to create those nightmares that go across Tornado Alley. It even surprised me that Colorado got torched at one time or another. I'm out in this region sometimes, certain areas, but they would also get it in the higher elevations. It was dry enough and it starts up. Look out. Nevada, I'm not worried about all that much because there's nothing much out there to burn. Except for their cities. Arizona gets uh, choked out with an occasional dust storm that covers the area. Not to mention, I think, New Mexico and maybe certain areas of Texas as well. But it surprised me about, who was it, about 15, 20 years ago? Moving out to the Antelope Valley around 2005 and discovering these guys have sand problems on occasions. That's one thing, seeing dust devils happening. Winds blow up, turn into tornadic activity, but just, just enough to be a little bit of a picturistic Norman Rockwell picture there. Seeing the taller ones. That really gets you and scares the hell out of you. Without a cloud in the sky. No, what scares the hell out of me, if I haven't seen a cloud in the sky and it's not looking like a storm cloud, it doesn't look like a rain cloud, it would look like a, a smoke cloud. That's what gets to me. In closed environments, such as the valley I lived in a long time ago, That scared the hell out of me. I mean, using Google Maps, I'm scrolling through different points of the states and uh, focus back on the home state. Because I'm looking at the mountainous regions. You think it's just all mountain, but it's all forested. There is growth. Represented by the dark greens. When they get dry. They do. This is like hundreds of acres, but still even hundreds of acres will do a hell of a lot of damage. Compared to what Texas is like right now, Texas scares me more. I'm not even in that state, and this scares the hell out of me. Because I see the wildfire happening in that area, and yeah, it does concern me. I feel for the ranchers out there who are, have farms out there who are of livestock, wild horses running through. I mean, I'd seen videos of horses running. And you had to see the devastation afterwards. Makes me sick to my stomach. Ranchers would have a hard time trying to get out of the area, but they would have to get out of the area. But when the fire hits there, that's what gets to me right there.
fire that devastates an entire area and just takes it out. They say some lives have already been you know, taken from this fire smokehouse. An indiscriminate force of nature. One can try looking at it and be absolutely mesmerized by the damn thing. Well, why don't you look at a flame? That's mesmerizing enough until you get burned by the damn thing. You weren't paying attention to the flame as it was crawling down the matchstick and burns your fingers. Then what do you say? Ouch. Yeah, no kidding, pal. And what scares me more is how that area is torched forever. No, not forever. Just for decades. Looking at the discolored map on Google on this one is pretty damn rattling. Of different smaller communities, farming communities, that just got nearly wiped out. On the eastern portions of it, farms as the wind drives the fire more and more to the east and they're trying to get the fire under control. All these damn areas affected. Yeah, it does make me sick to my stomach because I've I've, I've seen smaller individual communities. I mean, I, I try to put it into a perspective that my own terror can understand. A massive wildfire like this is not something to be beholding. It's something to get the hell away from and stay the hell away from it. Not realizing if your home's going to be lasting or not. Three acres in a second. If there's no control and the wind's still blowing like crazy, it's the one certain areas are getting nailed left and right by it. And they're worried about the fire going into... Uh, Oklahoma. I just hope they've got enough. Oh, here's another constituation. How much water do they have left in the water tables out there? I'm serious on this one, guys. I'm serious. If Texas is also going through a drought situation, if they're still having problems with water management, oh, God help that state. It's bad enough I was hearing about Mexico City. But it's indicative to the state of Mexico. They're still suffering through the global changes happening. We hadn't seen anything massive like this regarding fires and droughts in our lifetime. Not under this scale. So yeah, it still has me concerned. It still has me concerned. I have yet to hear from the news organizations about what the hell they're going to do about this damn thing. I hope they do something. Because I don't know what the hell we're going to do at this point. i tell you the truth. So it's about time for me to put on the national stuff and choke down all the political crap and vile and bile going on. I want to know more about the damn Texas fires. I want to know more.